Sometimes we just have to learn to follow our instincts. Our guts are there for a reason to lead us. When a fishing trip between two lovey brothers trying to catch up on time turns into a nightmare, you'd be thankful the entire trip was caught on camera. Before we start, can we get this video to 1000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. One of the first teachings in safety or environmental education is that one should be watchful of the surroundings and be alert, especially if it's isolated or quiet. These men would have gone away long ago if they had paid attention to what was going on around them and avoided this scary show. Minutes into their fishing and chatting trip, a wildlife photographer hanging in the bush noticed a pair of familiar eyes in the tall grass. He took the shot from his angle and he noticed that an intruder was around, observing and probably waiting to ambush. Shouting wasn't so effective, and so the photographer decided to move in close to the two brothers and offer some help, but this wasn't until after he carefully placed his camera on the grass. Coincidentally, he has pressed the recording button on the camera, and the angle was just right to capture the unexpected occurrence on my fishing trip. It was indeed a heart-wrenching video to watch, as the grass shook and the intruder looked ready to pounce an attack. At the exact time, they noticed they weren't alone with the intruder, but with the photographer as well. This was a little bit satisfying and consoling that another person was to help in case they needed saving. Now they could boldly approach the bush to find what was lurking in it. But is this about to be the worst decision of their lives or brotherhood? When you live close to a nature reservation center that has a lake with lots of fish in it, fishing is likely to be a frequent outdoor activity for you. This was the circumstance surrounding the brothers, John and Brad's decision to go fishing on this cool Saturday morning. Taking time regularly to cool off on the shore was a casual activity for this duo. They did not anticipate, however, that they would not catch any fish on this day, but catch nothing but fear. Today, they were going to be the prey and not the predator. Anyone would look forward to such an evening that has been planned with love. It was going to be a pretty chill day. John and Brad had worked hard all week and knew they deserved this exciting weekend. They packed all of their gear, bid their families farewell, and drove to their regular fishing spot. They could not have predicted, however, that the day would turn out to be so exciting. Almost the entire globe had heard about the two brothers before dusk. Meanwhile, only two families knew about their departure. Brad was the first to arrive at the fishing grounds. Like a student excited for game practice, John trailed behind, his gear slung over his shoulder. They stretched out the chairs and went over their week. We don't want to bore you with all the details, but Brad hurt his ankle at work, and Derek's wife won a cooking competition. They finally let go of their fishing lines, and the talk continued. They believed they heard a disturbance coming from the long grass at one point. They were both immediately startled and looked around to find where the sound came from. However, this was the first time they'd ever heard anything like it. It started with a hiss and ended with a booming splash. When the sound came again, they thought about it and concluded that no fish they'd ever seen before in that lake could have generated such a splash in the water. They sat back in their recliners, carefully lowered their fishing poles, and stood up cautiously to approach the tall bush. The men carefully strolled through the dense grass down the shore moving in front of one another. They searched the area thoroughly but found no trace of anything strange that may have created the splash. They thought maybe it was only a figment of their imagination, but immediately heard the hissing sound once more. They opted to return to their spot because it sounded somewhat frightening. The mystery creature didn't seem to want to be disturbed. As a result, the men decided to ignore them and continue fishing. The beast, on the other hand, had different plans for them. After the brothers went back to their spot for a while, they became a little relaxed and went back to chatting. They did, however, hear the weird sounds once more. It was unusually loud this time, as though the source was closer. They took a look around. What was the source of the hiss? And, more significantly, who or what could be to blame? However, before they could respond, an answer to their many thoughts appeared from the long grass. Meanwhile, the photographer hadn't moved too far from his camera, but he stayed in sight. He stood back and observed everything from afar. He had been attempting to warn two brothers of the impending threat for some time. He yelled at them and waved, but it was too late. From the grass, praying a massive crocodile. 
he dived into the water with a loud splash and ran straight for the boys. Fortunately, they were able to flee without being devoured. But then something utterly unexpected occurred. A crocodile had been hidden in this region for a long time, according to the photographer. He tried to relate the story to them, and it explained why he was hanging around earlier. A man in the neighborhood owned the reptile, but he threw it out for reasons unknown to us. Why would anyone want to house such a dangerous animal anyway? The story made it to the papers, and the crocodile's transition into the wild and his spot in the river was reported in the media a week ago, and so the photographer was on the spot waiting to get some action from the crocodile. Well, he did get more than enough as the accidentally recorded footage of the two brothers, himself, and the crocodile went viral making the three men famous all over the world. The crocky buddy is now kept at a local reptile refuge, 